Okay, this is going to be the next video in uh, uh, the quadratics unit for Algebra 1. Uh, last time we talked about factoring and solving uh, for factors. We also talked about how to convert solutions to factors. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a graph, okay, and find the solutions and the factors. Now, very easy from this standpoint. The solutions are where it crosses or touches the x-axis. Okay, and this is the x-axis. So this crosses at or touches at negative two, so bx equals negative two. This crosses at one, two, three, four, five, so x equals five. Okay, we learned about this last time. How do I make those into factors? I just move those back over, so that becomes plus two. That becomes minus five. Okay, that's how easy that is. Okay, this this crosses at one, so x equals one. This is one, two, three, four, five, and negative six. Okay. So my factors, this would move back over, become x minus 1. This will come back over and be x plus 6. So you got to keep the vocabulary straight. Concept pretty easy, okay? Concept pretty easy, all right? Now, this crosses here. Roots. Roots mean the same thing as solutions, zeros, x-intercepts. It's all the same thing, so don't get confused by the vocabulary. So this crosses at x equals 0. This is 1, 2, 3. This is x equals 3. All right, what would zero be as a factor? We talked about this last time. It would be x. This would be moved back over, all right? It would be x minus three, okay? Now, let's look at this next picture. This is really unique, all right? So when it just touches, okay? When it just touches and turns real quick, we're gonna count that two times. So that crosses at or touches at x equals negative two. I'm gonna write that two times, okay? Because it crosses. So the factors are going to be x plus and x plus. So you should have two factors. That's what creates the quadratic, okay? So what I would like you guys to do is try these. Pause your video, do the next four, and go form them, okay? So this is at uh, 2. This is at 1, 2, negative 3. So this would be x minus 2 as a factor. This would be x plus 3 as a factor, okay? This crosses at x equals negative 1. This is one, two, three, four, five, so x equals five. So this would be x plus one as a factor. This would be x minus five as a factor, okay? Pretty simple stuff there, okay? All right, now I got this one. All right, this is a drawn grade, all right? This is one we want to cross right here, okay? All right, so what I would have, okay? Uh, this is at zero. This is a one, two, three, and four. So as a factor, this is x. At this one, this would be x minus 4. Okay? This one touches at 3. So I'm going to write that two times. And so this would be x minus 3 and x minus 3. Okay? That's simple. All right? That's simple. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our function and we're going to make solutions and factors out of it. Okay? So what we can do for this is we can use Desmos. Okay, we can use Desmos. So um, f of x is just a fancy symbol for y. So what I, what I can do is I can write that as y equals, okay, x squared, okay, uh, click over here, minus x minus 12. All right, and I may have to, uh, just move it out so I can see. So all I'm looking for is where does it cross the x-axis? Touch that, that's at 4. Touch that, that's at negative 3. So my solutions are uh, x equals 4, x equals negative 3. Very quickly for a factor, that would be x minus 4. This would be x plus 3. Okay. I'll show you in Casio how to do this. Um, it's pretty simple. All right. All we got to do is go into the graph and type in x exponent squared minus x minus 12. All right. All right. All we got to do is g solve and root. Okay. Root is the same thing. So that's x equals negative 3. To go over there, I hit that one. I get x equals 4. Pretty simple. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and, and, and do this one. I'm just going to go ahead and delete uh, this stuff. You can do it with equals 0. That is fine. Either way, x squared minus 6x plus 8 
equals zero. Okay, so that's at two, and that is at four. Okay, so x equals two, x equals four, and it's going to be x minus two and x minus four. Okay, all right. This next one I'm going to do in, in Casio. So I got uh, x squared minus six x plus nine. All right, to draw. Now, this is a situation, G solve root. It just touches. So how many times am I going to count this? I'm going to count this twice. So I got a solution of x equals 3 and x equals 3 as a factor. That's going to be x minus 3 and x minus 3. Okay? All right? This next one I'm going to do in Desmos. Okay? So I'm just rotating, right? In the interest of time. Okay? x squared minus 5x. I gotta put that equal to zero, we go to y, it does not matter. If I click on that, I got it zero. Then I click on that, I got it five. So x equals zero, and x equals five. As a factor, that would be x. Move that back over, it would be x minus five. Okay? All right, pretty simple stuff. All you're doing is graphing, finding the solutions, and converting. Okay, so go ahead, go ahead and, and pause your video and go ahead and work on these and go formative. Okay, all right, unpause. I'm gonna ro I'll rotate between Desmos and Casio, okay? If you wanna leave these equal to Y, that is fine. Okay, F of X is a fancy symbol for Y. All right, so Y equals X squared plus two X to X minus 15. Okay, so I got a solution of three and I got a solution of negative five. Negative five. Three factors, this moves back over plus, this moves back over minus. Okay, next example will be a Casio. Okay, that is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Draw, g solve root, okay, negative 3 and negative 2. Okay, make sure you check for both. Okay, as a factor, those will be x plus 3, that moves back over, check that to x. Okay, next one I'm going to show in Casio. Okay, next one I'm going to show in Casio. I'm sorry, Desmos. Okay, so I got uh, x squared minus 4x plus 4 equaling 0. Okay, so that just left there. At, uh, at two, okay. I don't know why that didn't show up. Oh, we gotta do. We gotta do this equal to y. There we go. Okay, so that would be two. Okay, and since it just touches, we would write that twice, which makes these factors x minus two and x minus two. Okay. Next one I'm going to show in Casio. Okay, we got x squared plus 6x. G solve root, one root is negative 6, the other is 0. Okay, so I got this would be x plus 6, and this would just be x. Okay, all right, so next thing here, okay. All right, I got my solutions, okay? All right, given the following, find the function, okay? All right, if we're using Desmos, we're gonna have to use this with Y, but that's okay. So basically what we're gonna do, we're sort of gonna work backwards here. Uh, when you get to Algebra 2, you'll do the whole thing where you create the polynomial, okay? So what, what we're gonna do on this is I'm just gonna have these equal to Y. And so I'm just gonna put these in, minus 4X, minus 21, okay? And what I'm trying to see is, do I get negative 7 and 3? That's negative 3, and that's 7. So that's not what I want, all right? So let's do the second one. All this is a little bit of guess and check. Oops. Okay, plus 4x minus 21. All right, negative 7 and 3. Boom. There is my answer. That's how easy that is. Next one I'm going to show you in Casio. 
Okay, so this one, I just type in x squared minus 3x minus 10. I draw it, g solve root. I got a root at negative two. I got a root of five, close, but not quite, all right? x squared plus 3x minus 10. Draw, g solve root, negative five to two, close, but not quite. All right, x squared minus seven x plus 10. All right, g solve root. I got two and five, close, but not quite. X squared plus seven X plus 10. Draw, G solve root, negative five, negative two. Okay, boom, that ends up being my answer. Okay, all right. So go ahead and pause your video and go ahead and do these and go formative. Okay, all right. So what I have here is I would have x squared plus 6x minus 16. Draw it. G solve root. I'm looking for negative 8. And I'm looking for, ah, that's 2. Okay. Um, I will try the second one. x squared minus 16x minus 16. Uh, that's not going to be it. There's going to be negative 2 and 8. Let's do x squared plus 10x plus 16. Solve root, negative eight, negative two. Boom, there's my answer. Okay, all right. Okay, this one, I'm gonna go, uh, let's do this one in Casio. All right, I'm gonna make sure I set these equal to Y. Okay, just so I get the, the, the true graph. All right, X squared minus three X uh, minus four. So I get a solution at negative one, and I got a solution of four. Oh, that was easy. Boom, got that one, okay? And I think that's it for this. Yep, that's gonna be it for that video, okay? All right, so we are rolling through quadratics, okay? We've, we've covered all the different aspects of factoring, solve by factoring, all right, converting, all right? We're looking at uh, characteristics of, of, of quadratics, and we're gonna finish up with um, uh, quadratic formula.